Hi everyone. So on my Facebook page, I've been talking about um, how to do eyeshadow. Okay, so there was, I put it out there. What is it that you want to learn? You came back to me. How do I do my eyeshadow? So there's lots of different ways to do your eyeshadow because there's a lot of different issues. Think about contouring your face, okay? Contouring your face is the exact same as doing your eyes. When you contour your face, what you're trying to achieve is the perfect oval shaped face. So when you're doing your eyeshadow, you're trying to achieve the perfect eyelid. Not everybody has the perfect eyelid. What's the perfect eyelid? I don't know. Anyways, you want that perfect almond shaped eye. You want them exactly the equidistance between your eyes. You want to ha not have a mono lid. You want to have a crease that's nice and high. We don't all have that. We don't know, unfortunately. Like, no, we don't. I don't. No. Anyways, so I thought about how am I going to do these videos when everybody's got different issues with their eyes. Everybody would apply their makeup a little differently. So I'm going to do it in stages. First is going to be how to counteract whether you have wide or narrow set eyes. Okay, how do I know if I have wide or narrow set eyes? I've got my little stick here. It's actually an eyebrow brush, but for in all intents and purposes, it's my measuring tool. Okay, so I'm just going in I'm measuring how wide my eye is okay and I want that equidistance between my eyes for the perfect set as you can see mine are a little narrow wah, wah. anyways so when I do my eye makeup I don't put dark colors in between here I put them more towards the end and that pulls them apart Lighter shades towards the middle, gives them a little bit more width. Darker shades towards the end, pulls them apart. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the difference between how you would counteract that difference right there. We'll move on to things like how, you, how to do cut creases in your lid and things like that. But let's start with the basics, and that is getting the right width between your eyes. Okay, so I'm just using a very generic NYX nude palette, but I want to do extreme colors. I'm not doing this because I think this is how you should do your eye makeup. I'm doing this so that you can see the color that I'm doing, that you can see where I'm putting my highlight and my shade. So the first thing that I always do, and I don't know why, there are people who like to do things in different orders. For me first, I'm going to do my foundation. I'm gonna set my skin to give myself a clean canvas. My eyes are already uh, primed. They're already uh, concealed. They're already set. So now I have this perfect clean palette. That's why my eyes look so weird and small right now. So what I always start with, we're gonna do this eye as the narrow set and this is the wide set eye. So I'm just going in with my neutral shade and I'm just gonna go all over with that color. All right, so this is my narrow set eye like I normally do. I like to give myself a completely monotone blank canvas before I do anything. Okay, I like to build depth from there. So I'm going in with transition color and everything's going to be done towards the outer V. What's the outer V? The outer V is from the corner of your eye to the crease. That when you hear anyone say anything about the V, they're talking about this area right here. Alright, so I'm going to go towards the edge of my eye and I'm going above my crease. Doing my, I'm just enhancing my V shape right now. I'm pulling them apart. And I'm doing it lightly, building the color pigment. There's no need to be in a rush with this. But you can see I'm building it and it's starting to pull those eyes apart. I'm just going to continue to build. 
I have gotten a little bit closer towards the inner corner of my eye, but that's just purposely, it's for fading the color out. There's, I'm not putting a lot, I'm not packing color in there. I'm packing it out here towards the end. Okay, so now that I have my transition color, which is my, my medium color, I'm gonna go in with my darker color. And I'm just focusing on the V. So all of that pigment is going to the V shape. It's not going to the inner corner of my eye. I'm just working it in. I'm just doing a little bit smaller area than I was doing prior. So I'm pulling them apart. Okay, so if I had wide set eyes, I'd be doing the exact opposite. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if you're someone with wide set eyes, I'm just gonna go in with my flat nude, just to give myself a perfectly clean shade. And I'm gonna start building in the corner right here. My shadow is going to start here and it's going to be a little bit more in depth here. It's kind of the opposite. Now I am still going out to the corner because I'm not a savage. Just kidding. But I am putting a lot of that pigment there. So then let me go in with my darker now that I'm done with my transition. And let me show you what I mean here. So. Working it in the crease, but I'm working it all the way across the lid. So instead of focusing on the V, I'm focusing on my crease. Well, it looks a lot weirder on camera. <clears throat> it's because I have very close set eyes and they're awful. You see the difference in what I'm doing as far as the dynamic of the shade? Okay, I'm, when I have eyes that are wider set, <clears throat> I'm trying to bring them back together. When I have eyes that are closer set, I'm trying to pull them apart. So I'm just building up my color with my entire crease. Just because you have wide or narrow set eyes doesn't mean you can't do a cut crease. I know a cut crease is very popular right now. I have mixed emotions about a cut crease, but that's okay. I like to believe that makeup should just enhance instead of overpower, but that's just, I'm old school. Um, I'll still show you how to do it. That's okay. So I'm just working it in to bridge that gap. It looks so bizarre because I have close set eyes that I'm not used to doing my makeup like this, but that's in theory what you should be doing. Okay, so this, I'm pulling them apart. This, I'm bringing them together, okay? And take your time, build it up slowly. Rome wasn't built in a night, law, and all the other generic things I can say. Still gonna, I'm still gonna do my V here, but I'm gonna s let the color come a little closer. Isn't it pretty? See, because I have narrow set eyes, I can't do fun stuff like this. Now, when you have wide set eyes, you can also enhance your lid by taking you do your color dark on both sides and then you can go in with a light color and enhance right here in the middle. So it gives it a nice pop. Something I can't do. What you think? 
Okay, so that's how to counter wide and narrow set eyes. So in the next video, we're going to talk about lid shape, how to create lid shape. If you don't have any, there are some people who have mono lids, people who have deep set eyes, people who have um, uh, uh, heavy, heavy bottom lid or a heavy, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, the heavy bottom lid is what I'm looking for, I guess. But there's so many different ways to highlight and um, take away from any sort of eyelid issues that you have. So we're going to go to that portion next. But I just wanted to show you what you do with a close set and wide set eye. So here's my wide set. I've come all the way into the middle. And again, these aren't necessarily colors I would use. I'm just trying to show you very generically how I would apply my makeup. And then here is the close set eye. All my weight in the close set eye is out here. My weight on my wide set eyes is here towards the middle of the nose. It's so weird to see this, but because <laughs> I never do my makeup that way. But if you have any questions about wide or narrow set eyes, or if you need any assistance in deciphering that, take a selfie and measure. So you're aiming for the exact width of your eye right between your eyes, okay? I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.